What's up guys, it's Ryan here, the MX Guru with AOMC. Uh, not sure how many uh, mountain bike people I have on this channel, but uh, maybe you're about to be a mountain bike person if you're not already because we just got in our first shipment of the Husqvarna e-bicycles, the e-mountain bikes. Uh, we got two hard cross HC7s and uh, I'm completely new to these. I, I enjoy uh, I enjoy mountain biking, mostly downhill stuff because I'm not big on the climbs, but I'm really interested in the e-bike stuff because it, it could help solve that. So uh, it's a great way to get out and see the trails, but I want to uh, pull this thing out of the box and check it out. Check that thing out. That red pro lever looks sick. But, uh, all right, let's pull it out of the box, get it up on the lift here, and uh, take a better look at it. All right, let's try to get this thing out of the box and see what we're working with. All right, guys, this thing is sick, but I'm trying to figure out the most stable way I can hold it while I put the bars on. And I think once I get the bars on, I can flip it upside down. I've just never done a mountain bike before. I'm sure that the bike shops have some apparatus to hold it, um, but I do not. This lift is actually broke, so it won't even really hold it. So yeah, all right, let's try to get the handlebars on and maybe go from there. All right, I got it swapped around was able to rig something up enough to keep it stable to get the bars on let's go ahead and get the front wheel on get the rest of this uh plastic off and get a good look at it This thing sure is a beauty, guys. See the charger? Not much bigger than a laptop charger. So that's pretty nice. Everything's pretty light. Plug-ins seem pretty high quality. The cord's actually got some length on it. It's probably eight or seven or eight feet long total. Um, still got to put some pegs on. Normally, I probably wouldn't put the pegs on, but this one will probably get tested or be uh, tried out by some people in the showroom, so I want to go ahead and get the pegs on it. Um, yeah, so it's time for me to break open the manual and see uh, what the next steps are we need to take. Okay guys, here she is. Husqvarna Hard Cross HC7. You guys know I'm not a mountain bike expert by any means. I have mountain biked a little bit in the past, but I've never really e-biked besides down a street. But uh, I'm just going to go over some of the features of this thing with you real quick. First of all, the price. Um, I haven't been able to confirm a U.S. price yet. Uh, I know it's like 5,500 euros, so if, you know that's about 6,500 U.S. If the price is exactly the same for U.S., uh, the drive is 250 watt Shimano EP8. The battery is a Simplo TPS 630 watt hour, 36 volt, 17 and a half amp hour which you can access right there from the front. There's the battery skid plate. You just loosen this bolt and it comes out of that slider. And uh, you take that battery skid plate off and you can see the uh, battery charging status. Also, when you plug it in, the blue light comes on at the top as well. So you can see what's going on. Uh, suspension's all rock shocks, 180 millimeter. As far as the fork, and it all looks sweet. Uh, this has obviously got the drop seat, which I think is super cool. You just, if anybody's not familiar, you just hit this. I'm hitting it with my thumb, and the seat comes up. And then you can just push it back down, and that's, I guess, so uh, on downhills, you can bring your seat down, get it out of the way. And then before you go to climb, you can bring it back up. If somebody's a mountain bike expert and knows otherwise, let me know. Couple heat, couple keys right here. 
for if you want to remove your battery. Thing is definitely sick. I will link to the Husqvarna page down in the description uh, to where you guys can click and see all the details about this bike. But uh, I think I'm going to take this outside and take a quick spin on it. So uh, let's do it. This thing's pretty sweet, guys. All right. So I got a battery monitor here. Speedometer seems to be working. Everything seems lined up nicely. Everything rolls good. Go to the bottom of this hill and come back up. All right, I'm in power one. I'm sitting down. Let's go to power two. So I would have a hard time making it up this hill in, a, in, in mode one, but I switched to mode two and I had no problem sitting down pedaling up this hill. Go to mode three. And I can actually get some speed up this hill. You motocross guys are gonna kill me, but you know my favorite thing about this? How quiet it is. I mean, flat ground, you can pretty much ride effortlessly, which is why these have become such uh, popular pit bikes for motocross tracks. So then right here in the corner of the screen, it tells you your range based on the power mode you're on. So if I'm at power mode one, I've got 72 miles of assist left. Power mode two, 36 miles. Power mode three, I've got 25 miles of assist left. Then I can hit this middle button and change from range to distance to the odometer. Really digging this setup, guys.